Welcome to GPU Pass-Through Configuration Tutorial. We will guide you through the configuration process step by step. Using your preferred web browser, navigate to your Proxmox node. Once there, locate and click on the shell option to access the command line interface. Step 1. Open your preferred text editor to modify the grub file. Locate the line that needs to be replaced. Consider commenting out the original line for reference. Then, add the new line as provided in the description. Once done, save the changes and exit the text editor. Step 2. Execute the command to update grub and wait for the process to complete successfully. Upon successful completion, you will see the word done. Step 3. Open your text editor to add multiple lines to the modules file. Navigate to the end of the file after all the comment lines. Then insert all the new lines as provided in the description. Once you have completed the insertion, save the changes and exit the text editor. Step 4. Open your text editor to create a new file. At the beginning of the file, insert the new line as provided in the description. Once you have completed the insertion, save the changes and exit the text editor. Once again, open the newly created file in your text editor and insert the line provided in the description. Step 5. Open your text editor to add multiple lines to the blacklist file. At the beginning of the file, insert all the new lines as provided in the description. Once you have completed the insertion, save the changes and exit the text editor. Step 6. Execute the command line to retrieve the PCI address for your GPU and audio. Navigate and locate the VGA-compatible controller entry, ensuring it specifies your GPU model. Take note of the PCI address listed at the beginning of this line. Execute the command line by specifying the PCI address that you retrieved previously. Take note of the vendor number for your GPU and audio. Step 6. Open your text editor to modify the file configuration file. At the beginning of the file, insert the new line as provided in the description. You need to update the line using your GPU and audio vendor number. Once you have completed the insertion, save the changes and exit the text editor. Step 7. The last step consists of updating everything and then rebooting your Proxmox server to activate all new configurations. Now that all the Proxmox node configuration is completed, we need to apply some configurations to the VM and Windows. Firstly, we can open your Windows VM to activate the desktop remote feature, enabling access to it when GPU pass-through is available. Additionally, it's essential to take note of the IP address assigned to this VM for future reference. We will activate the remote desktop, Going in Windows Settings, select the Menu System and then navigate by clicking on the option Remote Desktop. Activate the option and confirm. Now go back to the Network and Internet menu. Select the option Ethernet. Scroll down the screen to take note of the IP address. You can now shut down Windows. Select your VM and navigate to the hardware menu. Click on the Add button and choose PCI device. On the next screen, select your GPU PCI. Ensure to check all options such as All Functions, Primary GPU, and PCI Express from the Advanced Options. Now you are ready to start your VM. However, please note that once GPU pass-through is active on your VM, Using the console is no longer possible. Instead, you will need to utilize Remote Desktop to access Windows from your VM. Open the Remote Desktop application and click the Add PC button to create a connection to your VM. In the PC name box, specify your VM's IP address. Optionally, you can assign a friendly name, such as HomeLab VM, and then click on Add. Double-click on the newly added PC and enter your credentials 
you will now have access to your VM's Windows environment. Now that you are able to access your Windows VM, we can validate if the GPU is available in Windows and then install the latest driver for better performance. Open the Device Manager and verify that your GPU is available without any errors under Display Adapters. Now that validation is completed and your GPU is successfully installed, you can proceed to install the GPU driver. I have already downloaded the latest Windows drivers for my GPU and placed them on the desktop. You are now ready to execute the installation. When the driver's installation is successful, your VM will restart. You can go back to remote desktop and access your VM again. You can now access the GPU performance monitor to validate that everything is functioning successfully. This completes the entire GPU pass-through installation for a Windows VM.